Welcome to globallytraining.com. Globallytraining.com offers online courses covering various software technologies. New courses are added on a regular basis. You can email us at training at globallytraining.com or you can call us at 732-588-6564. Hello, uh, welcome back to the video series on review scripting. In this video, we will look at our second conditional statement, which is select case. Before we jump into our uh, select case, let's uh, take a look at uh, you know the if condition again. This was the first script that we uh, saw in the other video. Uh, here, we are taking uh, a variable x and checking for hey, you know, if x is greater than five, then do this, and we had another statement here says hey you know if x is equal to 5 then do something and if it is x less than 5 then do something else so primarily we had um, three conditions uh, you know checked using three different if statements so it's kind of you know the system or when you if it's a small script it's not a big deal but if it is a, a big script then you know it will have to go through each condition to validate all that and moreover it uh, uh, number one it is not professional number two it's kind of cumbersome when it, it's a large script when you're actually going through it it would be a little difficult to kind of follow the script sorry to kind of you know address all that you know we have uh, the select case statement the way this works is, I mean, it's kind of close to if statement. If you understand that, you know, it's very simple here uh, to follow the select uh, case statement. Here I have a variable uh, called car type declared, and I will send a value of visa. And here, the way this is happening, let me copy all these and kind of delete it for a minute here. So now let's look at this select case and I'm passing in the variable here and then if it is visa then I need to do something and if it is not visa then I need to do something else or if it is you know let's say MasterCard then I do something else so depending on the type of the card you want to do something different so that's exactly what I'm doing again you know it's multiple if statements right you know, if, if it is MasterCard, do something. If it is Visa, do something. If it is American Express, do something. If it is Discover Card, do something. It's exactly the same thing. It's taking in a variable and it is saying, hey, you know, case one. If it is MasterCard, do something. If it is Visa, it's the next case, do something. You can have multiple lines, uh, sorry, multiple lines as I, you know, was showing you before. I was, for the demonstration purposes, I just had one single message line in there. You could have, you know, you might as well have 100 lines of code in there. So it will just work. So uh, depending on which case, you know, meets the criteria, then any lines of code that's inside that case gets executed. So to quickly uh, demonstrate this uh, <clears throat> script, let me go ahead and run this real quick. So this is um, condition. Okay. So it says processing your uh, <clears throat> sorry uh, payment using Visa card. Uh, because we passed in visa, visa condition was met, and this is the message we got. Let me go ahead and make a quick change here. I'm going to copy this discover, paste it in there. So now when I run the script, I would hope that this line would pop up on the screen. Running the script again, there you go. Processing your payment using discover card. So uh, this time, one more change to quickly demonstrate the script here. Uh, 
I'll put another line. This is a new message. Just to show you that you know you could you know, actually have more than one line in there. So a message here saying your pro processing your payment using American Express card because this condition was met. That was the very first message, and then I have this is a new message that's coming from here, line 28. Okay, done. So again, you know, it's you just have to uh, write a couple of uh, scripts by yourself and actually get a feel of this select case uh, uh, syntax, and you'll really start enjoying it when you actually write scripts because you know most of the times it's you know it's the conditions right you, you you'll just not have two or three you'll have five six seven conditions depending on the condition you like to perform something else and s select um, case is one of uh, you know favorite choice for most of the people who you know like writing scripts so there you go that's how this works uh, let's take a look at another quick example on um, select case uh, and we'll we'll close this session or I mean to say this video so here um, I'm introducing you to a new function called weekday this weekday will take the date uh, by the date by itself is again another a function which will return the current date so if you pass date to weekday it will take it and return an integer that represents the day of the week so if it is Sunday it will return 1 if it is Monday it will return 2 if it was Tuesday it will return 3 so um, let's go ahead and run that script and see what we get oops okay Friday so today is Friday so what happened was so it took today's date and uh, you know weekday will return an integer and that was six and the condition here then right after that we have a you know select case so the value of x is six and we it goes in there and then it said case one case two case three when I say one two three it's not like a, a sequential order that sorry that's not the case it's actually the value of the variable is being compared here so if it is 6 then you know it says that Friday it's displaying that message with the title so if I were to just for the kicks and giggles let me change uh, the date to Monday real quick Okay, um, let me run the script. So you see, it said Monday because it, it took today's date, converted that into an integer, and this time it was two. The two was passed in here, and we know that the two is Monday, and it displayed this message. So this is just another example. I you know I just wanted to take this opportunity to introduce you to the weekday and the day functions that you know, can be used within the script as well. So anyway, that's uh, you know uh, two simple examples of using a select case. Uh, I hope you all um, uh, enjoyed um, you know learning um, select uh, statement. Well, uh, probably we'll look at the loops in the next video. Okay, until then, bye and see you in the next video.